Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Star Wars Electronic Talking Bank. Waving lightsaber with light and sound. Original voice and music from soundtrack. Uh, I found this at a antique slash thrift store uh, last week. Uh, I had this uh, when I was in high school. Um, and junior high. I really liked this. This came out around the same time as the re-release of the original series. Um, two of them came out at the same time. In between the release of the original series, re-release of the original series, and the release of The Phantom Menace. Uh, there was this Darth Vader bank, and then there was a Darth Maul bank. Um... I had not seen The Phantom Menace yet, so I didn't know anything about Darth Maul. So I went ahead and got the Darth Vader bank. Uh, as you can see here, the box came in very pretty decent condition for the age. Uh, this came out back, um, oh, I'd say around 1998. I will double check when we get to that part. There's the side there. Uh, Darth Vader says, impressive most impressive but you are not a jedi yet waving lightsaber with light and sound effects turn body with light up chest box and belt you got a coin slot and a try me button and then it's the same thing on the other side and then the back here uh the original copyright was 1980 um this came out in 96 so, I was very pleased to see that this was still in really good condition. Uh, it says here, place coin into slot to start bank functions or press the Star Wars insignia for try me feature. Uh, battery instructions, remove lid to retrieve savings under adult supervision. Open battery cover with a screwdriver and insert, as shown, three AA batteries included. And I believe, because this was in the box sealed, uh, still connected to the um, twist ties that are in there. Uh, so I believe this, still the factory batteries that came with it. Uh, Here's the top, and here's the bottom. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way. And we'll take a look at the Darth Vader bank. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. Okay, now, this thing is a little dusty. <laughs> it's pretty old. Um, and, and it is almost identical, pretty much identical to the one I had growing up. A uh, very good likeness of Darth Vader there. And well, let's just, uh, check out the, uh, let's put a coin in there and see if that function works because it never really worked on my original one. Uh, I always had to press the button on the original, um, and anytime I dropped a coin in here, it never it never lit up. As you can see, there's the Imperial logo on the base. Uh, let me find a coin here. All right, we have a quarter. Ah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work just like my original. It did not work. And I will tell you from experience, it is very difficult to get all the money out of the bottom of this thing. Very difficult. But let's go ahead and press the button so you guys can see the features. Most impressive, but you are not a Jedi yet. 
Pretty cool. My kids got a kick out of that. Here's the side view of it. Pretty nice. The back view. The cape is kind of a very soft rubbery plastic. The other side view. Very nice. Now, I'll go ahead and um, zoom in on this thing so you guys can see all the detail up close. So there you have it guys, uh, the Star Wars Electronic Talking Bank, released in 1996 for ages 4 and up. Uh, if you find this thing at a garage sale or anything, just remember, uh, the coin slot does not work as it says on the box. Uh, you pretty much have to press the button in order to get the sounds and the uh, movement. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment down below if you had this one or if you had the Darth Maul bank. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more content. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.